everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Coldfire. And I'm Kit. And today we're going to be reacting to the second single of Madonna's Who's That Girl album soundtrack. And this is Causing a Commotion. It does not have a video to it, unfortunately. <laughs> it should have because it did reach number two on the Billboard charts. And I love this song. It's I like just like, I, I love this whole album, this whole soundtrack. But we're only going to be reacting to the ones that Madonna was on. And like a, like he, like Kit said, if you want to, to react to the other songs that were put on there, of course, just drop us a comment and we will react to them. But we're just trying to do Madonna and Madonna only. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into this one. We already know the song. Yep.
always think that song's gonna uh, it. All the songs on this uh, soundtrack are, are gonna stand the test of time, like all her other songs. I because like song. it's got a nice beat to it, and and I remember because she say and get into the groove. I remember whenever I used to go out to the club, and the DJ would mix "Get Into the Groove" and this song together, mm -hmm. and he mash them up. Because when she's like, "And get into the groove," and he'd start playing "Get Into the Groove" song a little bit, and then he'd get back causing a commotion, and back and forth. That's how DJs used to be when DJs used to actually play really good music when you went to a club. Because the last time I went out to a club. I asked him to play Vogue because I know all the dance moves to it. And he he was playing another song along with Vogue that was like a techno song. So he didn't even put the beats of Vogue in. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I can't dance like this. This is not how you mix a this is not how you mix a song. You you play one song and then you start revving up the other one until you blend it in and you then you let the audience hear just well, that song. That's, but, how, that's how they used to do it, and maybe they... Well, they do it on CDs now. I don't know. But I think a lot of them are trying to get back to vinyl, because vinyl was easier to mix oh, and yeah. what they call scratch the record. Oh. But that was causing a commotion by Madonna. That song went to number two on the Billboard Hot you know, 100. Every, every time in between the vocals, the... I don't know what they call them, when she's singing, singing, and then she takes a break for a little bit. Yeah. Whatever that's called, the the music when the she break. when she takes the break from singing, mm -hmm. um, it's called something else, but I don't know what it is. But that's all right. I'm not a music major. Every time I see that, I picture the I picture the little teeny cartoon characters from the from the movie. Who's from that the intro of yeah. It, this is also in the intro of the movie. It's uh, half half the version of this song, and it's the beginning of this of the movie. Where she's actually as a cartoon character, and it also gives you a plot of what the movie stands for if you watch it in its entirety. So what you need to do is you need to watch the movie. There you go. Yeah. Just don't fast forward through the through the intros and stuff like that. So, anyways. Yep. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed that, and just uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and. Comment down below if you would like to hear any other artist that I can put on my list. I just did a up the hill. <laughs> Must be losing my voice. He's going through puberty. But anyways, we're glad that uh, we reacted to, the, to this video. And we hope that you enjoyed our reaction. And we wish you love, kindness, and happiness everywhere. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.